Hi everyone, it's Kettle Tech here and today I'm showing you how to use nunchucks. This is my area of expertise. Maybe I should stick to what I know best which is uh, computers. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to retrieve data from your computer that has completely failed. There's nothing you can do about it and no longer turns on unless you're a genius and you're able to repair the computer from scrap it. Then in that case you might not need a computer after all. You, you could just use your head for most of your data storage and processing. Computers not turning on, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to take it to Geek Squad or some facility that repairs computers and they'll charge you $120 to have it checked out. And then when you go back, they'll tell you, hey, guess what? Your computer won't turn on. And you're gonna tell them, I know that. That's why I brought it here to begin with. And they'll tell you, well, the data retrieval will cost you around $120 if you want us to retrieve the data. And it's not guaranteed. Uh, we won't guarantee that the computer will turn on ever again. We won't guarantee the data will still be there, but we do guarantee that we will charge your credit card $120. I can show you a cheaper way of doing that. But the part that you need will cost you around 100 and no, it's gonna cost you $10. If you want the best one out there, the one that's uh, compatible with just about any hard drive, it, the unit I'm using, which is a USB 2.5 to 3.5 serial ATA IDE hard drive combo adapter I call it a USB adapter okay so the type of hard drives wow. there's so many there's a 2.5 hard drive this is commonly used on laptops 3.5 hard drive normally used on regular desktop let me go through the parts you're gonna need the USB adapter which is the most important part right now get it online purchase it have it ordered to your home don't pay extra shipping. Their triplet also includes their power adapter, AC cord for your power outlet, a serial ATA adapter, another adapter, 2.5 to 3.5, and then I just have random adapters. Do the manual here with the triplet manual, and you're gonna just throw it away. The next step is finding the computer that's broken. So this is my computer. This laptop is particularly, it's completely broken. Motherboard is shorted, but I know the hard drive is still works. So the first step in removing the hard drive, it's locating it first. I doubt it's this one. So let's check under this door. Door number one. Let's see what price we have. And voila, the hard drive is not there. This is an Intel wireless card. And then the CMOS battery, which is right in the right. But we're not looking for this, so let's put this cover back on. This should be the hard drive's uh, compartment. All right. That screw does not come off. There we go. Ah, there you are. You should be able to extract the hard drive by pulling from a tab here. So it's not coming off. Uh, don't worry a little bit more muscle behind it so let's there we go let's see all right hard drive is removed okay so this is the uh, connector now if you want to know what type of hard drive this is uh, to find out just turn it over label here it says ATA-IDE so it's an IDE connector so now here we go we have your hard drive your USB adapter from trip light this is already an IDE connector, IDE side. One of the ports on this adapter is covered. The same should be for your hard drive. If you look closely, there's a pin missing. And that's the location that should match from your hard drive to the IDE adapter. Now remember guys, do not force them. This pin, these contacts do bend if you force them. So I'm just going to do it lightly. All right. There you have it. What if you have a serial ATA? This is a serial ATA. This is a serial ATA. We're, we're going to use this side. Connect to that. All right. Now serial ATA requires a separate power source. That adapter is also included. Take the hard drive. It goes only in one direction. 
There you go. The power side. All right. And that's how you connect the serial ATA uh, adapter. Uses the serial ATA connector with the same adapter, and this side will go to your computer. 3.5. So all you have to do is unplug this serial ATA, plug it in to the uh, 3.5 hard drive. There you have it. So now we have the adapter with the hard drive both plugged in. We have the USB end. Plug it into a port that's available on your laptop. You get this window. It says local E drive. You just found the external hard drive. Go ahead and open folder and now you can see all your documents, all the files on the hard drive. And that's it. You could just take the files over, this particular file, right click, say copy to your new location. Are you actually still watching this video right now after you just saw all that? Let me know if you find this useful. Please subscribe like always and it will let me know that hey you're enjoying the videos and I'll keep making them well take care of yourselves be safe I'm gonna go ahead and go outside it's really sunny out there so, and I'm here why am I here Wait. peace